and today we're going to show you how to upgrade your notebook from an old mechanical hard drive to a brand spanking new SSD. As you know, using an SSD is the best way to upgrade your computer's performance. Even if your computer is brand new from the store, this is going to improve your boot time, your application load time, the things that matter most. So what do you need to make this upgrade happen? Well, obviously, you need an SSD. And here we have an OCZ Vertex 2, 120 gigabytes, which costs just over $200, really quite reasonable. Uh, you may opt for a size slightly larger than 120, but we think that this is a decent size for a lot of users. Uh, and then we have this over here. This is a Zalman enclosure that we've got here. Um, but you could get one that costs about, that, that's a no-name brand that costs about $10. This is a nicer $50 enclosure because it has a digital readout. Uh, what you do with this is you open it up and you stick the SSD inside and then you can use it as an external hard drive, which we're going to do at the beginning of this exercise so that we can copy or clone the entire hard drive and operating system onto the SSD for later use. And of course, what would an upgrade be without a Phillips head screwdriver? So uh, let's get started. Obviously, the first thing that you want to do, uh, and we've already taken the liberty of doing this on our test notebook here, is just to make sure that there's nothing on the notebook that you don't want to copy because you, you want to make sure that you have plenty of free space and you know you, you have obviously uh, less storage being used than your 120 gigabyte or larger SSD. Uh, so we went through and cleaned out any programs we weren't using and as it turns out, well, we only have 32 gigabyte of data on here including Windows and all the programs. Great. Now, we ha now the next thing that we've got to do is we've got to actually take our SSD and we've got to put it into the enclosure. So uh, this is pretty simple. This enclosure just simply, you can just pry the top off of it. Um, and inside it's got a little SATA port. We're going to take it, we're going to match the SATA port up with the uh, up with our SSD. You see uh, digital side goes this way on this particular enclosure. Slide it in. So now our, our um, SSD is nice and protected. We're going to take our USB cable, plug it in here to the little USB mini USB port on the back of the enclosure and we're going to plug the enclosure into an available USB port. So once you've connected the enclosure to the notebook it's time to launch your cloning software. We're using Acronis Migrate Easy which is $39.99 but has a 15 day free trial that you can use. Uh, we're going to go in there, select Disk Clone, say Next to go through the wizard. It's going to look at our disks and it's going. we're going to pick Automatic to automatically um, step through. Uh, we're going to select the source disk, which is the one in the notebook, of course. And click Next. Uh, obviously, the uh, destination disk is the external one. We will tell it that, yes, we want to delete any partitions that may exist on the destination. Click Next. Now we're just going to have to click Next a few times. Uh, and we're going to click Proceed. It wants to reboot. We're going to let it. Uh, and you'll see that when it reboots, it's going to copy the entire operating system, programs, data, what have you, right over here to the SSD. Uh, now this process can take anywhere from 10 to uh, minute, 10 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on how much data you're copying. In our case, we've only got about 32 gigs of used space, so it shouldn't take us that long. But let's just get a sense of what happens when uh, this process is occurring. Probably you'll want to walk away from the notebook now and get a cup of coffee or something. And if it's a lot of data, you may want to walk away and watch a TV show. So it just simply uh, here at this point doesn't require your intervention. It's just going to kind of step through um, looking at analyzing the disks and performing the copy. Uh, so let's, uh, let's give it a few minutes to do that and come back when it's done. So now that we've uh, completed the disk cloning, it's time to actually uh, swap the drives. Uh, so first thing we're going to do with the computer off, obviously, is we're going to turn it over. And uh, you'll notice this panel over here. Um, most On most notebooks, the panel is on the bottoms. On a few, it's on the side. Uh, and usually there's a picture of a cylinder 
uh, somewhere near the panel to say that it's this is the hard drive spot, but on this particular Toshiba notebook, it's not really clear that that's there's no symbol, but this is quite simple. It's under the it's most likely under the panel, and we know because we've tried this one before. If you have any doubt about it, uh, check the owner's manual or just try pulling up the panel to see. So we've unscrewed it, and this one is a, we have to be a little ginger with because it's one piece when I crack the plastic. Uh, so underneath here you can see this is the old hard drive. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to unscrew it from the chassis. And uh, once we've loosened the screws, there's usually a tab like this to pull on. You pull the tab and try to kind of gently guide it away from slot. So we've now removed it from the computer. And now you see there's this bracket on the drive. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bracket from the drive and then put it onto the SSD. So pull all these screws out. And... Once we've removed all these screws, it'll be time to swap the drive out of its bracket. So that's pretty easy. Now we're going to take our old hard drive out of the bracket. See, now the bracket's separated. We're going to put the hard drive somewhere safe. And we're going to take the SSD out of the enclosure. And we're going to put it in the bracket, positioned in the same way that it was, that uh, the hard drive was, so that the screw holes on the bracket line up with the screw holes on the drive. And now we're just going to reattach these screws. So now our SSD is fastened to the bracket and all we need to do is go and turn it over and make sure that the uh, teeth on the SATA port line up with uh, the connector and we'll have to slide it in gently. Uh, depending on your notebook, the position may be slightly different. Now we're all connected and all we're going to do is put our screws in and uh, close this up. So once we've uh, tightly fastened uh, the panels on the back and screwed everything back together, our notebook should work. Um, what we'll want to do, of course, is take our old hard drive over here and stick it in the enclosure because now it can be a working backup drive for us. Uh, and we've saved ourselves the you know, $50 or however much that we might have spent on buying ourselves a backup drive. And um, this notebook here should power up and boot into Windows as if nothing has changed except for a lot more speed. Uh, if it doesn't work, you'll want to open it up and check the connection again, because uh, that's usually the culprit. Uh, but otherwise, you should have a whole new world of speed. And that's how to install an SSD in your notebook.